Hi guys. I don't know if you can see the sky. I, oh here, maybe this is. <laughs> I'm out in the wilderness, okay? And um, Bob and I decided that we could not do a live. Uh, we have too many interruptions. Sometimes we have internet, sometimes we don't. So we did do a film today. We are not going to do a live tonight. We did a film and um, I'm going to put that up instead tonight if I can get it loaded and we have enough internet to load it. So thank you for watching. Please enjoy Bob. I did enjoy visiting with him in the wilderness. I'm saying wilderness. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. So everybody, this is Bob Wells. Everybody knows who he is, okay? He's well known. And Bob and I were going to do a live. However, we have thunderstorms again. I'm going to show you the sky uh, after we get done with this. So we've decided that we would do a video. And I'm very sorry that we didn't get the live, but we're going to have the same problem tonight that we had last night with the thunderstorms and all the rain. So I thought I would just do a very short video with Bob, and you know, kind of asking very personal questions. So the first one, Bob, I'm going to ask you is, what is your favorite color? I guess blue. Blue? Mm -hmm. So could it be teal? Teal's kind of an aqua blue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you did, did you see my, I know you did. Everything is teal inside my van. So that's my favorite color. I, anyway, uh, but yours is blue. Like and it could be sky blue. Sky blue is beautiful. Yes. Okay. All kinds of blue. All kinds of blue. Okay. All right. Do you want it? So, uh, what kind of solar do you have, Bob? Do you, how many watts do you keep? And, and uh, do you still, do you have a propane generator as well to do it? Or are you just strictly solar? Well, I have 700 watts of solar on the roof of the ambulance. It's big, of course. Right. And I could have had more. I could have had a thousand pretty easily. And I just didn't. 700 is as much as I've ever needed. Um, and I do test products all the time. So like I have right now, I'm carrying two extra 200 watt, uh, folding solar panels, you know, the suitcase. Right. And, um, how much I, does it weigh? One of them is what they say. They're the lightest one in the world is 13 pounds. Okay. Now they're, not, they're soft. They're not the hard frame. Okay. The hard frames are all very heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, like you ran into no, the soft fabric ones, I think this one's 13 pounds, which okay. is really very good for a 200 So that's pound. what we need to look for is a soft, a soft-sided one. Yes, but they won't last as long. Right. The, the fabric will fray. It'll wear out. Uh, they'll break much They're sooner. pretty expensive too, aren't they? Uh, well, I'm, I've been, been finding the cheapest 200 waters I can find and yeah. testing them. You can get them for two hundred dollars or less. Okay. And that's less than a dollar, about a dollar a watt or a little less. So we can expect a dollar a watt. On sale, a good sale, you could expect a dollar a watt. More likely a dollar and a quarter. You know, some people want two dollars a watt, and don't don't even think about that. Don't even think about paying that much for the two hundred watt. Yeah. I did do a test on one I thought was of superior quality, and I think I paid two eighty for it, and it was on sale. Uh -huh. I think regular price is like three thirty, but it really is superior. It was the one that was thirteen pounds. It was okay. very light. But you pay more for quality, and you're gonna it's gonna last a little longer. Right. But now you have reviewed all these on your channel, so what I'm gonna say is, please don't ask the questions about what it is or anything like that. Bob already has it on his channel, and I'm not gonna put it on here on this channel because he's reviewed it, and you can go through his channel yeah. to buy it. Mm -hmm. So there's no sense in in uh, asking me the question, oh, well, what is it, and how much, yeah, just go to Bob's channel. Yeah, and uh, when it comes to solar, your answers, and what, uh, now, I have a complete build system of my own. I you, you built it through the uh, batteries, it, which, which right. batteries did you, was it Battleborn? I did start with Battleborns, and I still have them, but I have, and I've switched to, um, they, when I bought them, they were called Amper Time. Right. A M P E R. I've seen them, yeah. And um, and now they've changed their name. It's Li Time. L I. I think that's short for lithium. Time. Okay. And they cheat. They're cheap. You can get them for three hundred bucks for a hundred. Yeah. Watt. See the Battleborn. Yeah. I, I was looking at eight or nine hundred dollars 
a piece. I don't have that kind of money, no. and most people don't. No. Nor do we have the skills. My problem is I can do it, but I don't want to make a mistake, so I don't want to caught, catch fire in my van. So I've never had enough confidence to say, right. I know I can do it because I've watched Will Prowse. You, and I know every, that's all you need to do. And I've been <laughs> watching him for years. But I just don't, I'm so concerned. As an older person, and you know I make goof-ups, and I, I'm just afraid that I, I will make a mistake and not realize it and have a fire. So I've strictly stayed with the solar generators. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I think for most people that's a really good solution. It's just easier instead of, of building it yourself. Blue Eddy is a, is a very good choice. They're, they're not the cheapest by any means, but the, the bang for your buck, the quality versus mm -hmm. price, I think is as good with Blue Eddy as you can get. Yeah, when they first started, I mean, Blue Eddy has not been, none of them have been out more than, what, two, three, four years? Jackery's the longest, yeah. and it was probably, it might be like five for them. For them? They're one of the very first, well. Well, they're probably the best one, or best known. No, is, well, best known by far. However, you're concerned with, and, and right, rightfully so, my concern is with the, uh, the, poss the danger. The danger, mm-hmm. And they're not life pull four. Oh, they're, that's they right. Not. They aren't. They aren't. They're, you'll get half the life cycles, and yeah. they're, they're safe, but they're not as safe as Life Pool 4. Yeah, yeah. And Blue Eddy. the same. I have been buying the cheapest ones I can find. Yeah. Because there are some people who just can't even afford a, the high price of a Blue Eddy. They're good quality. You should buy them if you can afford yeah. them. But if you can't afford them, you got to buy something you can afford. Yeah. So right now I'm testing an Energizer. Uh -huh. uh, oh, brand new. I looked at those. Brand new. I saw they came out with one, yeah. And I love every Energizer product I've ever owned. Was it's been good. Excellent. And so far it's excellent. The bunny rabbit. You the remember? The bunny rabbit. Yep. Never stops <laughs> hopping or yep. running. What was it? What was that? It was, a, it was a commercial always. Never stops running or something. Uh, yeah. They had a cute one. It was and very cute. The bunny was running. The bunny was and... running. Yeah. Never stops working or running or something. Yeah. That I, was for years yeah. they had that, but I haven't seen it for a long time. I, you probably don't watch much TV anymore. I don't watch no. any at all. Yeah. So that's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Yeah, they're good products, and so far I've been really happy with it. And it's it what, much what size is it? Is a this is a twenty one hundred watt. So it's automatically going. Yeah. To... Well, I think what you did was the right, exactly the best thing. A two thousand watt hour with a two thousand uh, watt inverter. Yeah, you can run everything. Everything it's plenty big enough. Uh, yeah, and you, you can get them some really cheap ones. And I don't need a washer and a dryer. No, I don't. Okay, need <laughs> and I don't need. One of them humongous refrigerators, half one side that you open up that is ten times bigger than me or five times whatever, is all freezer. I I don't, I can get my food differently. It's just we 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 are so wasteful, and the bigger the better. No, it's not true, is it? No, usually it's smaller the better. The smaller the better. But what are your thoughts? And then I'm gonna we're not gonna make this video too long, guys. Uh, we've done a, quite a bit, and, and um, so we're just going to keep it a little short. But I have one more question: Is mm -hmm. which one of the refrigerators mine died before I left? And I'm really I want to get one that, but I want one with a freezer and a refrigerator. I want the dual. Which one do you consider to be a the best, or have or do you have an an opinion on it? I am just as confused as you are. Are you? I am. I, I always Because you had a Dometic when you first started. I did. I've owned two Dometics. And one lasted five years. Yeah. And I was fairly satisfied with that. Um, but my last, next one was two years. The warranty expired and it died. And yeah. I literally threw it away. Yeah. You can't get those things repaired. I looked everywhere. Now, yeah. the, the real RV stand up three yeah. ways. You can get yeah. those repaired everywhere. Yeah. Although anymore, a lot of times they're they're throwaways. They won't repair them. But the 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 portable ones, you know, the, the uh, compressed air ones, the compressed, the little mm -hmm. portable ones. Uh, no, you can't get those fixed anywhere. And so, yeah, what good is a warning yeah. if you can't get it fixed? Yeah. So so then I started buying cheap ones. I bought the cheapest one I could find, thinking, well, it's going to break in two years at least. You spend yeah, but less. cheap still is three three four hundred dollars, isn't it? it yeah, anymore. Well. This, it used to be when I decided to experiment yeah. with the cheapest ones, you could get a like a twenty quart, which is very small. 
Yeah. Uh, and it was 200 250 But still, for some people, that's a lot, that's of, a money. lot of money. However, I figured out I'm spending 5 $6 a day on ice. Therefore, I mean, without the ice maker, it uh, that would be paid for in a month. It would. It, even even if you have to pay 200 250 yeah, for it's worth a weird it. no-name brand. Yeah. Uh, a brand that I have known, I have bought, I've given some away. They get sent it to me. I test them. I give them away. And so I hear reports from people who yeah. have them. It's F40 C30. It's a weird Chinese name. Where do they come up with these names? I don't know. I don't either. But it has proved to be, for a cheap one, to be quite good. F40, Fahrenheit, 40 degrees, C, Celsius. Good, I'll look that 30. up. I'll look that up. And I have found them to be, for the cheaper ones, to be good. So, but I was replacing those things every couple of years as well, and I don't like doing that. And so, mine has only been two years. Yeah, well, that's about. And I paid three hundred dollars, three hundred sixty-nine dollars or something. For you know me, what brand name it is? Um, set power. I was very dissatisfied. It from the beginning, it did not keep the temperature properly. I that's should a, have returned it. That's sometimes what happens with get the cheap ones. Yeah. Is that you? you they don't. I you put have a, to chase the temperature up and down. Well, I put the yeah because I put a thermostat in. I'm like, this isn't even keeping my ice frozen, and sure enough, it was 37 and not 29. I set it at, so I had to figure out which right. one would bring it to where I wanted it. I don't like that at all. Well, a tip there is you can go to Walmart and buy uh, these refriger these thermometers with an external. Yeah. Just throw the external in there. And and keep the the display close, and you know at all times. Oh, okay. the exact oh I didn't know they had that. Oh, sure. Yeah, Walmart. Oh, okay. Them. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to look for that. Yeah. And they'll. And my first thought, my first time I did it, I didn't know if it would, if the motor running would affect it, or if it would go through the the radio waves. Would right. Go through right. It. Yeah. Works no problem. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I always have one in my fridge. Yeah. I always know the temperature. What about the bouge? They really are advertising and sending me all kinds of emails. What do you think of them? So far, I've had good luck. With it. I actually have Bouge RV um, solar panels. Mm -hmm. They sent me two to test, and I like them so much, I bought two more. Mm -hmm. I spent my own money to get two more. Mm -hmm. So I have four of them on there, four 180s. So I've got, like, what's that equal down to? Mm -hmm. 720 watts. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been really, really good. Uh, and I did test a Bouge RV, I believe, or maybe I said no. I get them. People send me, want to send me stuff all yeah. the time. Uh, but I, so far, I've been impressed with Bouge RV. Okay. I would, and they're kind of in the middle price. Aren't they're they? kind of in the middle price range. Right. I won't buy a Domatic. I, I just can't afford it. No. And, and if it's going to last two years, no, thank you. I don't have money one. to throw around. Right. If it's going to only, if they're all only going to last two years. Yeah, then I'll get an ice least. maker like I'm doing and a cooler a and have an ice maker and it uses 250 watts for but to make my ice. And in a couple hours, of time. Yeah. in a couple of hours, I've got a, a gallon worth of ice. I mean, a, a gallon a bag worth of ice that keeps the cooler and then I'll get some more. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting to the point where all of this equipment that they're selling for RVs or vanners, sometimes I just feel it's too much. Yeah. We don't need all of this. Right. You, uh, I think your idea of an ice maker and a, and a good ice chest yeah. may be the single best idea. Uh, I, I'm, I saw an ice chest. It's like the antique ones. You remember the metal? The metal ice chest yeah. in the 40s, Coleman. 50s? Coleman used well, this. Target came up with one. Huh? and it's, uh, But it's $200. No, it's yeah. $150. But those were solid. You could keep ice for days. I want something like that, but on a very small scale. Right. And I'm not playing $300 for an ice chest. I will no. not do it. No. Like that is Yetis? just, yeah, They're forget like four, that. 500 bucks? It's ridiculous. Crazy. It's just, to me, it's, it's a scam and you're throwing your money away. Absolutely. I just can't stand it. Are they good quality? Yes. Yes. Are they worth 500 bucks? No chance in hell. <laughs> I mean, the ordinary person, uh, the ordinary person like me, and most people are like me, do not have money to throw around. With the, everything, the inflation, food prices, and everything else, we're living in a van. We have to live on a minimal amount of money. Seniors who want to do this, most of them have less than a 1000 a month to live on. And that's got to go towards gas and food. We can't be spending this kind of money. Let me tell you what I've done. 
Okay. So so I when I was using ice and what I still do with my yeah. all my yeah. fridges I do this with okay. every fridge okay. even the uh, even the twelve volt compressor okay. fridges. Uh, I go to Home Depot, and they sell these little peak insulations. You've got uh, you've got white insulation in your van, the foam styrofoam. But uh, yeah, they have a peak one. It's called EPS. It's better actually. Okay. It's a little better in our value, and they sell four foot by four foot sheets. They're okay. handy panels. And you buy one of those, you cut out the bottom so it's setting on one. You don't okay. have all that warm, yeah. warmth going through the floor, okay. the metal floor. Right. Um, and then you cut them for the sides and you get a, I've a seen you do that. bungee yeah. cord and you wrap it around okay. it. Okay, I wondered That's how it. you wrapped it. I thought I'd have to do tape and everything else. You can, or you can do glue. Dude. You could build an actual box out of glue. Yeah. But you have to buy styrofoam glue. But just a bungee full cord cord around the top, a bungee cord around yeah. the bottom, two, three bucks. Uh, I and, need to do that. And they stay together forever. And where did you get it at now? Home Depot sells the, the, the sheets, the big eight, four by eight sheets. Oh, yeah. They make a handy panel size. Okay. Which might even be two And it's by two. pink colored, right? The pink is the best okay. because with the white, they all break apart in the little white balls. Yeah. Oh, I, I hate, hate that. that. And that's what mine did and it just drove me nuts. Yeah. I was afraid the dog would sniff some up or eat. Yeah. Uh, the pink doesn't do that. Okay. And it's also the pink. It's EP is EPS yeah. extruded polystyrene. If anybody wants to go and ask for it, EPS. Yeah. It's pink or blue. Same thing. Different uh -huh. company. Uh, and it's designed when you put in a slab to build a house. Yeah. You put to a two inch sheet of that, and then you pour the concrete right on top. Okay. And that insulates the floor. And insulates the floor. I wondered. Yeah. And so you can get these in half inch, and most people are going to want a half inch. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to, I think I'm just not going to buy a refrigerator. I really want to use this ice maker idea. Uh, a miniature is smaller, but I'm thinking the size I have is what I'm going to stick with. Because I, I need a lot of ice in the summer. In the winter, I hardly use any ice at right, all. Right. But in the summer, you use a lot of ice. But you got a lot of solar in but the summer. I, I have a lot of solar in the summer. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it's all kind of. It just talks to itself. But right now, that's what I'm going to try and experiment with. And then maybe in six months, I'll let everybody know. Because yeah. I just started it on this trip. I said, I'm not doing this anymore. I just can't do it. Well, back to the which fridge. There is one brand which, uh, well, it was the, it, it, I think it was the very first one. Ingle. E -N I remember Ingle. Yes, yeah. I do. They started 30, 40 years ago. Yeah, they and, should be good. And they're German. And... When German engineering meant something, yeah, and still it still does, yeah. but most of them are or so over engineered. At any rate, they say the the compressor on this has only two moving parts, and they will just never fail. Really? But they're outrageously expensive. I bought the cheapest model. It's forty five quarts, so it's fairly good sized, but it was a thousand dollars. Oh, see, yeah. yeah and most people can't afford yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that could buy you a solar unit. It, it can buy you a lot. A lot for <laughs> that a thousand. That could buy you a new cheap fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A new cheap car. Yeah. Uh, so I know most people can't, but I decided I don't. I don't like throwing these things away. In yeah, the, I, I because you're landfill. filling up the landfill. Right. You know what are we going to do with all our panels? Right. Right. And in twenty, thirty years, they're all. What's going to happen? Landfill. Well, California already has the problem. They've had panels for twenty and thirty years. What are they going to do? Down. Bury them and poison the ground? Yep. And yeah. and the lithium batteries are poisonous too. So worse. What are we going to do with all this stuff? You know, we're, I'm going off topic, but the idea of sustainable energy yeah. is not. It's not. Batteries are going to last 10 years, and they're done. They're done. Uh, solar panels, uh, uh, windmills are 10 to 20. If you get wind, they don't produce that much, those windmills no, don't. No, but I'm talking about the big ones for yeah. cities. But even they are going to be replaced every 10 or 20 yeah. years. Yeah. All that thing comes down, goes to the landfill, right. the whole new one has to be built. Right. So we already have That's a problem with landfills. What are we thinking? Yeah. But anyway, we're not. And they're all to. plastic. Yeah. yeah. So we're trying not to we to have people buy plastic bags, but we're putting up all these windfills, and twenty years are going to be in the landfill. Yeah. Yeah. Because the plastic's going to degrade in twenty, thirty years. Yeah. I I don't know what the answer is. I don't either. You know, I mean, I love solar, but I know there's major problems with solar. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I love solar too. But. I I just love it, but I'm like. I don't know what I'm going to do with the batteries when they die. I don't know what I'm going to do with well, the panels. you take them in to get them recycled. Oh, can you? Yeah, but I don't think they can recycle lithium. You know, a, dead, a lead acid 
the lead is taken out and used yeah again okay so uh and maybe even the casing yeah I don't know. yeah so uh whenever you buy a, an agm or a, a flooded battery we can recycle those they may they they require uh, usually give you a charge if you don't bring in a battery to right, exchange, right, they'll charge right, you fifteen right, thirty right, dollars. Right, core charge. They, core charge. Yeah, because they want that old battery. They yeah. want the lead in it. Yeah, that lead's worth that much yeah. money. Yeah, yeah. So, and you can do the same with the lithium. They'll take yeah. it. And I don't know. It's too new for me to know. None of us know. I don't think. I don't, I don't think we can know. Can they really re recycle that yeah. stuff? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I want to end this. I didn't want to make this too long. Great conversation. Yeah. Thank you. you. Well, thank you for being here, and thank you for inviting me to visit the wilderness, <laughs> which to me, you know, everybody knows I'm the city slicker. <laughs> but thank you very much, and I'm going to end this Let me video. tell people, we're in the middle of nowhere, northern Arizona, not far from the Grand Canyon. Yeah. So we're, this is wilderness. It is. And you should, they call it a road, but trust me, <laughs> it's not a road. <laughs> they call it one. <laughs> and what did you think when you first started driving down it? Uh I flew down it I, 10, 15 miles, and then I went, oh, my gosh, no way. And then I, I emailed you, and I said, I'll be there next year. I'm going three miles an hour, and that's what I did. <laughs> yep. But thank you very much. That's yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Go. Did you turn it off? No.